Yeah, alignment, assignment, details. You know, you gotta know what it, the person next to you got. You gotta know what assignment he got. Don't just focus on yourself, because at the end of the day, it's a team game. It's not just about yourself. Learn that playbook, stay healthy, you know. Build a great relationship with your teammates. You know, you gotta build that, that championship atmosphere. And you know, you gotta, a lot of people gonna look up to you. A lot of people, I'm coming from Florida State, a lot of people look up to me, and I was a big influence to, to other people on the team. And they always, I always had to come with that, that grit to practice every day. Come with that, hunk, that, that anger, that hunger, to push your teammate. Just being light on your feet. Um, that's probably the biggest thing on the wide receiver. Uh, making sure you just you in and out with your hips. Right. Just making sure, like, make sure you ain't giving no tails. Like, try to eliminate all tails from your route running. You know? Work on your route running. And you know? work with catching with the ball with your hands. That's all the advice I can really give on technical work. The preparation, like, taking care of your body. That's probably the biggest thing. Like, getting in the cold tubs, extra stretching, and just getting off your feet when you need to get off your feet and make sure your body is just working that out to me. After just the peak performance that where you at in that day and that's really probably the best advice I can really give about taking care of your body because the college world is a different world and once you get to the NFL it's a different world too so you know coming into college you know we got to get really into the film and uh, making sure that you know your opponent week in and week out and preparing yourself mentally um, it's just as important as physically before any game uh, just stay sound, you know, stay sound with your technique, you know, shoulders over your toes, your routes, you know, you can you can never rep it enough. So you want to find find you a trainer, find you a receiver coach. I mean, you can just find you a quarterback. And just run routes, run top ends of routes. Just, you know, stay fresh and stay tight on it. Always got to be physical, even if you're undersized tight end. Just be physical with everything you do. Just be all this. And let's talk. Just listen. Observe a lot of things and you'll be all right. Definitely the footwork. I mean, the weight, the weight room stuff is gonna come. You know, everybody that get in the weight, room, everybody that come to college ain't gonna be ready for the weight room transition anyway. So everybody goes through that. But definitely, you could be ahead of the game as far as the footwork stuff is involved, cone drills and stuff, making sure you can move well in small spaces and run good routes. I have to be my corner skills, like man skills, like playing press. So coming out of high school as a receiver. I didn't change. I didn't become a corner until I was a junior in, in college. So if I had known to become a uh, corner in, in college, I, I for sure would know, would have loved to know how to play press man a lot more, be a lot more physical at the line. I've learned it years on the road. I've learned it late. As y'all know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses, but your weaknesses you should work on your weaknesses, so that they become your strengths. And when that happens, you'll be unstoppable. Just probably what I've learned so far, man. Just staying tight in the core. You know, every, everything starts from, from basically the chest and, and this area down. So, you know, keep everything tight, coming in and out of breaks. You light on your toes all the time. You know, coaches tell you all the time, but it, it's true, man. Chest over knees, knees over toes, you never go wrong. Under the radar sports media, the hottest sports videos in the nation. Turn up, man!